everyone, thank you for tuning in to A Graders, here's what to expect. Today we have with us an experienced science curriculum writer, Ms. Jody, who will share with us what a P5 child should expect for science in January. So Jody, what will be taught in school in January for P5 science? Okay, for P5, uh, the, the schools will be heading to a topic called Water and Exchange instead. This is a very crucial topic, this is an introduction based on the topic that they were actually taught on in February. So this is just, uh, I would say, uh, the skeleton of this topic whereby the students have to learn about water and what are the different states of water called. After they learn these different states of water, in February, they will focus, they will, they will actually branch out to water cycle, which is related to water cycle, which they will learn in February. I understand. So, can you share with us some of the key concepts for this topic? There's a lot of things to remember for this because it's related to next month as well. Mm -hmm. So, what happened is they have to learn that water comes in three states. Solid, which is ice. Liquid state, which is water or water, uh, water droplets. And the gaseous state, which is the water vapour. Or steam. Now I think there's a misconception that a lot of students think that mist or clouds is actually in the gaseous form. Yes. Right? But yes, they are actually made by they are actually formed by water droplets, okay. which is actually a, a very common mistake made by made by students during examinations. Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah. And how about um, the changes in water states? Yeah, they they have to actually learn about the different a processes that causes water to change their state, mm -hmm. which is like melting, freezing, condensation, evaporation, and sometimes boiling. But the, the school would not care so much on that uh, and on that con on that process. I understand. So within the processes, do they need to know more about that? Yes. Uh, the school usually focus on evaporation and condensation because it is linked to the water cycle topic. So what happens is they actually have to learn the four factors that affect evaporation, which are actually your temperature, exposed surface area, wind and humidity. I see. Can you share with us some commonly tested questions that students should know of? Okay, the commonly tested questions is like they will actually ask them or give uh, ask them questions regarding melting and boiling point because they have learned freezing, uh, melting, boiling. So what happens is they give different substances, they give different types of melting and boiling point and the students have to actually identify the state of that particular substance. I see, okay. So any common mistakes that you came across during your years of teaching? A lot of students are actually unable to identify um, the state of that particular substance based on just the melting point or boiling or, or boiling point by itself. Mm -hmm. So what happens is they actually need more practice on that and also they actually forget uh, the difference between evaporation and boiling. So a lot of students think that uh, they are very similar but they have to remember that evaporation can take place at any time mm -hmm. but what happens is boiling, boiling only can take place for water 100 degrees Celsius. I understand. So anything that the parents can do to help their child? I would recommend that the parents actually help them to have more constant practice on questions involving melting point and uh, their boiling point because this, this is usually in MCQs. Yeah. And this question is usually in MCQs and it's actually the, it's one of the easiest to score marks if they know how to just have to identify the state. So, so they give like melting and boiling points and they say, oh, at this temperature, what state is this thing? Yes, okay. right. So it's the easiest to score marks. Mm -hmm. And also, they, they actually should test them about the different processes that causes the water to change state. More practice on that kind of questions. And also, we will also provide a uh, a question later on after this video and there's also a video regarding this topic as well. I understand. Thank you very much. Thank you. To watch more of such videos and information to help your child improve and learn ahead of others in school, visit our website www.agrader.sg, click on this button, fill in your email address and receive all these useful videos straight in your inbox for free as well as the latest in promotions so that you don't lose out on great deals with A-Grader Learning Centre.